going to show you a really cool trick on how to find and use items from the item list into a transaction like an estimate or an invoice. So let me just show you what the issue at hand is. So whenever I'm working in QuickBooks uh, Pro or Premiere and I happen to have a very long item list, one of the most tedious things is when I hit this drop down here that I have to go through this entire list to find the item that I'm looking for. So let's say I don't know what the item's name is, but I know it contains the word rubber in the description or, or somewhere in the name. If I type rubber, nothing shows up. So I would have to, have to actually know the exact beginning of the name. Now in QuickBooks Enterprise, we have this really fancy tool here called find and select items, which is actually really, really neat. Um, where I can actually type the word rubber here and click on search and it will narrow it down, find it for me, and I click on add selected items. And it's a great feature, amazing. Now, assume we don't have QuickBooks Enterprise and we happen to have QuickBooks Pro or QuickBooks Premier and we don't have that fancy find and search selected items. So the options that we have here are what I'm going to show you. What I'm going to show you is called Control L, Control U. And in a nutshell, the first thing you have to do is you have to make sure your cursor is in one of the item lines. It doesn't matter which one, it's just in a blank one. And then you hit Control L on the keyboard. Control L, like the word list. Just think of the word list. So I hit Control L. And what this will do is it will send me to my item list. And we should all be familiar with the item list. And we can actually go up and down and search it. But the nice thing about it is I do have a search box here. So let's say the box here is called rubber, I mean it's called uh, look for and then I'm going to type in the word rubber and then I'll click on search and then the item list will, will narrow down to only the particular items that contain the word rubber anywhere on the fields and then the trick is now I need to grab this item and I need to add it to the transaction. So to add it to the transaction I hit control U and notice when I right click, uh, nowhere here, there's a shortcut that says uh, use in transaction or when I click on edit, uh, nowhere here says use in transaction. And when I click on activities, also uh, nowhere here says use in transaction. So one of the interesting thing about this is this is definitely uh, a hidden trick. You would have to know that now inside of this item button, there's that use button there, so it's kind of hidden in there. But um, if you don't want to click on item and click on use, you would just select the item and hit control U. And then you will see magically it shows up in my item list. Let me do this one more time. Let's say, for example, I'm looking for an item that has the word uh, strap, right? So when I type strap, nothing shows up. Okay, so then I'm going to hit control L and do a search for strap. So I do a search for strap. And I hit on search here and then it shows me my two items that have the word strap then I use the, the one that I want hit control U and it puts it onto the item list and voila there's control L control U I do want to show you another trick um, one of the things that I do and basically based on this control L control U trick I create custom fields on items to add categorization or, or attributes that allow me to know exactly uh, how to search for these items. So for example, let's say that I want to uh, group my items by you know, outside tools and inside tools, for example. So I would go into any of these items, uh, double click on, on these items and click on this uh, custom fields here. And then um, let's say, for example, on the, I'll create a custom field. Uh, this one's called style. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep that one. And for the time being, just ignore all the ones that are there for this. This one for style, this is the one that I'm going to use uh, the word inside or outside. So I'm going to put here inside so this is a additional information that is really nowhere on my purchase description or my sales description or in the item name and i'm going to take a couple of items here and uh, and go into the custom field and put inside and then i'll double click on another item here custom field and i'll put outside and i'll kind of show you what I mean by uh, this is useful for searching. So <clears throat> let's do the same exact exercise. I'm going to do an estimate here. And let's say, again, I'm looking for only outside tools. So when I type outside, it doesn't really do anything. So working off the same premise, I hit Control L up here on the look for, I'll type 
outside, hit search, and then it'll filter. So the nice thing about this is this goes even into, uh, it searches even within my custom fields. So you can really create uh, powerful search mechanisms um, using custom fields and knowing the Control-L, Control-U trick. Hope you liked it. Thank you very much.